Hi, my name is Greg Pallion with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Void Boy Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about silicone and acrylic coatings and which one's best for your building. What are the differences between the two? Um, does it depend where you live at? Um, how the roof is designed, etc. Um, but maybe you're asking why are you even making this video? I'm making this video because we will be at a project that wants a coating system and we'll propose doing a silicone system and another company will propose an acrylic system which is a lot cheaper and we lose out on the job. And the building owner, um, unaware of the pros and cons of both coating systems, um, is gonna be left in an uh, undesirable situation for where he lives at and how the roof is designed and his long-term goals and budget. Um, so I just wanted to go through the differences between the two coatings. Um, that way the building owners out there um, can educate themselves and know which way they should be heading. So the first thing is, um, the differences is dry film thickness. Acrylics are typically 55% solids, which means 45% of what you lay down will evaporate. Um, high solids silicone coating is around 95% solid. Um, so pretty much everything you put down um, will be installed in the roof and stay there you know, for 10, 20 years. Um, dry film thickness is what matters. It could take two coats or three coats for acrylic to do the same dry film thickness um, as coating, which means more labor time, more material. Um, it's just a different way in how their products are engineered and how they're installed. Um, how they perform in snow and ponding water. Um, acrylics typically don't perform very well. I'm not sure exactly what happens if they lose their thickness or if they just simply, you know, wa you know wash away off the roof and the thickness isn't there anymore. Um, or if ice grabs onto it, I'm not sure what it is, but silicone is made um, to perform great, not just in snowy and icy conditions, but, but in any condition. But if you're in a warm, dry region, you might as well do acrylic because it's cheaper and it'll perform great in dry, dry areas. Um, so acrylic performs best, um, dry, warm regions, um, cost is of most importance, and the roof is you know, pretty sloped. Um, silicone performs best in wet and snowy regions, you know, like Ohio, Michigan, um, et cetera, um, and, our, and a flat roof where ponding water is kind of expected until it runs off. I mean, a roof here in Ohio, you might have a roof on your snow for five, six months straight. Um, acrylic is not going to perform great. Um, silicone is engineered to perform great in those conditions. Um, so really the right condition or the right situation um, always depends on hiring the, the right contractor who can explain the differences. Um, like I said, because it's just not fair to building owners who get two quotes and they pick the cheapest one and they're unaware of that acrylic system might only last five years or seven years or whatever it might be, and they got to recode it constantly uh, for the roof to you know be what be watertight. One they could have just done silicone in the first place, spent a little more year one, but if you go over a twenty year cost plan, um, a lot more cost effective than to go the silicone route. Um, that's pretty much uh, that's all I have to say today. Hopefully, you learned at least one thing new. To learn more um, in the description, there's a link to the article with more detail. Um, hopefully, uh, you learned one thing new today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.